Hey, Grim. Hey, y'all boys. How y'all doing today? Prepper Nation. Angry Prepper. Hey, Grim Survivalist. Native to Taunt. See, I'm using everything he said. Everything in my bag. There's my tent. See my tent, y'all? You see it? 32 degrees out here. It's cold. Very cold. It's so cold. I gotta put my gloves on, man. Damn. It's real cold out here. Let me help to get this out first. Oh, man. Well, I gotta, go, gotta get this out. Ugh. Very cold out here. Very cold. Ugh. So cold, it's pathetic. You wanted me to do a dang video using my go bag? Well, I did. I used everything in my go bag. Make sure everything's going. There it is. Everything going now. Warming up my food, big guy. You see what I'm saying? I used everything in my go bag. Everything. Used my shovel, my tarp, my bear knife. There's my machete. See my rope over there? I'm using everything. Doing pretty good. Almost there. Took up your challenge. I'm using everything you said. Still working. Everything out of my go bag. Boy, it's cold out here at 32 degrees. Darn, it's cold. Check it out, man. Grim, see if you can do what I did. I dug me out a bigger hole. Check it out, Grim. I'm using everything in my go bag. See my tent and all. That goes back five feet in. There's my bag. There's my bottle of water. There's my stove. You see, I'm cooking. See, still cooking. Doing pretty good. There's my shovel. Hey, Graham, there's my big old knife you were talking about. See, there's my go bag. Everything's out. Everything used in the go bag. There's my go bag and tent. Five feet in. Using shovel. Using ropes. Found that rope really actually out of these damn woods. I like that. Water's over this way. Up over the hill. And there's another water area over that way. Up over that hill. Wait a minute. Yeah, there it is. You look around, you start noticing things. See, you start noticing things. That's strawberries. Didn't know that. Come up there. The whole area is almost filled with strawberries. There's ginseng up here where I'm at.
See what I'm saying? Everywhere I go, there's a creek right down in that area and a pond. See what I'm saying? Using everything in my go bag. See my go bag, my cooking pot, me cooking. You see me sitting there using my shovel. There's my tarp, my hat's on top of it. Even my gorgon bag. See? Both same thing. That's my machete. That's my bear knife. There's that rope I was telling you about I found. You see it? Found it right here. I'll show you a little bit of the other thing. Check this out. It's personally made. Bits my hand perfect, boy. Like, share, and subscribe, Grim. Tell me when you use your go bag. Tell me when you use everything in your go bag, because I was using everything I had that I needed. Use my cook pot, which is actually from Jack Daniels. See? Actually from Jack Daniels. Cooking out of it. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my coffee. Damn, you can't find that sucker. Oh, but lady. Talk to you later, y'all. You see what I did? I did my go bag challenge using everything I needed for a go bag challenge. Look all the way up in there. You see it's five feet in there. I got me a seat. I also got me a bed on top. See what I'm saying? I keep it low so nobody can see it. And the reason? Think like an animal. If you're low, they don't pay attention. If you cover everything, you don't pay attention. I could did that tarp that way. No one even thought about that. I'm actually about four blocks from the police department of Kannapolis, North Carolina. I dodged everybody to get up in here. Used everything he said in the go back challenge. Couldn't use my first aid kit. Couldn't have to use my compass because I'm inside the city. I'm trying to hide from them. But the cool part is going past everybody in the city. You get about four blocks from the police station. And every time a cop, in the old days, there wasn't a police station there. And they would chase us in these woods. And this is where we'd be hiding at. Places like this. We even got drop-offs. Gullies. And we'd just go up in the gully and lay right on the sides so of it. Nobody would see us. See how this place is? Pretty damn smart to be stupid, ain't we? Can't find us. And then you think about it, you see how low that is. It's actually about four feet low, but inside that hole right there and where I'm at, I can go in five feet. And all I gotta do is throw leaves on top of it and I'm covered. No one will be able to find me or see me out here. And the cool part, it's got a lot of wild strawberries out here in ginseng. Nobody paid attention to it. These are trees I used to cut, Grim. You see how high them trees are? They're about 85, 90 feet up. We got one. I'm going up through here. I'm going right there. I'm going straight up it. Straight up it, 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 straight up it. That's 120 feet, and I usually cut them. I can get within six inches of hitting a house. That's how close I got to a house, six inches from hitting it. Told the guy to cut it down. He thought I was bullshitting. I did it. <coughs> and then I have to move everything by myself. Well, you think about that, Grim. Think about it, Grim. I did what Hutch Homestead said. There's that go back challenge. See if you can top me versus my bare knife. And that damn machete. 
You see who I hung out with? They live in small ground. You see, I got my water. I got this. I'm eating, cooking, using my shovel, using my Jack Daniel pot as a stove. Two dollars. Count an eight dollar bag. Wearing my damn gloves, my extra jacket. And right now it's around 33 degrees. I think I did pretty good for a North Carolina boy. What do you think? Bye-bye.